Oh, my daily commute. Nothing has changed. Still the same 40 minutes to get to London Bridge. Some people might find it crazy to commute from that far, but I learned to see more advantages than disadvantages. I read, catch up with messages, practice Spanish, and do 5 to 10 minutes mindfulness. To be honest, it's great to start early. I avoid the morning rush and have a chance to see the nature waking up. Just 8 minutes and I'm at work. I quickly change and start my shift. Morning, Sophia. Good morning. Hi. Okay. Morning, Andy. <laughs> okay, let's go to my section. We make crème patisserie in Thermomix, which is such a time saver as we put egg yolks, sugar, butter, corn flour, flour, vanilla paste and milk. We leave it to do its job and once it's done, we take it out. However, alternatively, we do it time to time by hand. We blitz whole almonds and hazelnuts for the paste, which we use for the almond croissants and hazelnut almond chocolate. Then with the rest of the weight up, we move to the big mixer. We start with butter, sugar and salt. We mix it till it's smooth, scrape down the sides and then add the ground almonds. We mix till everything is well combined and start taking out. So this time we do almond paste twice and then hazelnut. We do a massive batch today of around 75 kilograms of both paste combined. After almond paste, we do hazelnut paste. The method is exactly the same. The only difference is that the paste looks a bit darker and obviously the nuts are different. As always, cleaning after yourself and leaving clean workspace for someone else. Now we will do a big batch of sorbet, which we normally do once or twice per month. We grab the butter and mix with sugar and a bit of salt till smooth. Add flour and that's pretty much it. We transfer this mountain of dough into a container and leave to relax and chill. Then we take the dough to our pastry breaks and start working on the dough. We have to transfer the dough into an even size shape individual units. We flatten the dough and pass through breaks. Now we're gonna roll shortbreads with this metal ring. We check if it's in the right range of weight and continue cutting. Placing on prepared tray and arranging what we need for today. The rest will go straight to the freezer. Still some left, huh? You know, I can tell you a little secret. I love doing this uh, showbreads. It takes time, but it's just relaxing. And the baked shortbread is looking like this, with some vanilla sugar on top. We have this quiche dough disc ready from earlier, and today my colleague is beautifully lining those 24 cases for tomorrow's use. We use this rosemary only for focaccia, but tomorrow we are baking 25 individual focaccias, so we need to make sure we have enough. We're placing two containers of fresh rosemary and then pour it with the extra virgin olive oil. After all, there are quite a lot of stalks left, some of them still quite green and juicy. I'm taking some home and we'll cook something with them tonight. This is an everyday job and we always have the focaccia we have done one day before. So what we do, we grab the flour, salt and yeast, then directly pour in water into a mixing bowl. The colder the water, the better, as today is quite a hot day. Adding flour and mixing together. Auto-leasing for 20 minutes. After the time has passed, adding yeast and salt. Mixing on a high speed and giving a few rounds of mixing and resting. We do 25 doughs today, so we're preparing the containers by pouring some oil in each of them. Once we achieve strong gluten development, the dough is done. Taking the dough out and leaving to rest. A 
after that, fold in the dough for the last time and I promise, that is done with the focaccia today. We use egg wash for the baking shift when we brush pastries. However, we are preparing egg wash on day shift. We simply crack eggs, blend them and pass through the chinois. Very quick and simple job, but it has to be done in order to make a smooth baking shift for the next baker. We start making Bostock by baking the brioche and slicing into even slices. We make a special syrup which has a hint of orange and cinnamon. We brush these brioche slices with the syrup, piping almond frangipan, topping everything with summer berry mix and finally sprinkling raw almond flakes. I just passed one of the bakers, Manu, who is shaping pizza dough for staff food. Just stop for a moment to admire his experienced job. In between shops, I quickly give a hand for rolling pastries and arranging them for tomorrow's bake. It is always exciting to see new people joining the team, but sadly, we have to say goodbye to people who have been around for a while. Today is William's last day, however, we wanted to make his goodbye as sweet as possible. Ciao guys! Behind me is beautiful, vibrant, colorful borough market. This is a favorite spot for tourists and to be honest I wanted to feel like a tourist today so I invite you to come with me to see what's going on today at Borough Market It is very very busy market actually it has so much variety you can get from paella behind of me pigeons always there loyal friends no, on a serious note, it's everything you want. Cheese, spices, any kind of vegetables, berries, coffee, bread, pastries. Everything is here. I will just do a quick round. Maybe I will have something we will see. But as of now, let's look around. Ciao, mamita, gracias. Yeah. High five, mamita, ciao. <laughs> this market is actually so great because it's under the roof. It works really well when it's rainy or bad weather, which happens quite a lot here. We discovered the beautiful tea place. The shop assistant was so helpful. He explained a lot. And now actually I feel so knowledgeable about the tea. Good tea always requires less quantity. The conventional way of making one cup of tea, two grams for a cup. But good tea, pinch, enough for your cups, like a three finger yeah. is enough for your cups. That's then the boiled water, cold water, and you can use the leaf two to three times, same leaves. And when you finish the tea, please don't throw the tea into the bin, throw the tea under the plant. It's a very good compost. Looks like even royals love this place. As always, I take my train home, and roughly in one hour, I'm at home. I love, love, love doing workouts after work, but today the maximum I will do 5-10 minutes stretch just to calm down. And if my body says that yes, you need to slow down, take some rest, so that's what I'm going to do. And what I started doing lately is my power nap. So instead of trying to survive the whole evening, I take around half an hour, one hour nap and it actually saves the whole evening for me because for example today I have my Spanish lesson where I still need to actively think and participate in the group. So I rather go to bed, take my nap and then I wake up fresh. I was telling so many good things about power nap and guess what, I overslept. I set my alarm for morning not for the evening so I was a little bit late for my Spanish class just went downstairs quickly joined the zoom and uh, 
todo full brand, no pasa nada. Okay, so I have this beautiful pet at home called Starter and I didn't want to put anyone in trouble asking to refresh it once or twice per week. So I will do sourdough starter flakes and I will see tomorrow how it goes and once I'm back from my holidays I will recover it from this sourdough starter flakes. Do you remember rosemary stalks from today? I took some home and now I'm gonna use for roasting vegetables in the oven. They're not going to add a massive addition to the flavor, but aroma will definitely be there. And special addition to the dinner, a tiny loaf of bread from my bakery. Sometimes I feel that there's not enough time in 24 hours day to do things that you would like to do, but I go to bed with a peace of mind. Thank you for watching and see you next week.